All right. First and foremost, I'm going to say, oh, praises be to you. I'll bash me on Shai, bash me on Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. And shalom to the sincere elect, teaching the truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of yeah, how about Shimon Shai, about Shimon Kakadash. Right, and I have a bit of um information there, you know, right? You know, because um, you know, you know, your Esau from time to time he might clip your pages and videos you got on on certain information that has been lost. But guess what, man, Esau, even if you do it, man, you can't stop this truth. Right, this information, this 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 role is 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 in us. It's 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 in our minds, and the truth. Even if you try and cut us off, you try and do this, do that. This information is still gonna come out because it's the truth, All right? And 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 the, the 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 best way that you have heard this devil is through is through is with truth, man. All right? This is um second uh, Thessalonians two and eight, and then that wicked shall and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth right and 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 and, 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 and who is that a uh, 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 wicked it's esau right it's his elites and uh, and unto uh, and unto all his people man right who who and, and if you are a so-called person who call yourselves white that goes back to the seed of esau then guess what you are esau Right, if you go back to the seed of Esau, you are an Edomite man. And the scripture says, And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And who is the spirit of his mouth, man? It's his prophets. And even though you try and hide our information, you try and do this, we're, 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 we are consuming you, man. We are burning you with the truth. We're telling you the, the, the sins of which you've done and that they are Lord. How about Shemar Shai? Right. All right, it's gonna bring that judgment on you, man. And you can't escape it. Whom the Lord sh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. And the brightness of his coming is with the chariots, man. So without further ado, I'm gonna I'm I'm get a few scriptures. All right, I'm gonna go uh, quickly into this into, into this article, man. All right, anyway, it says um, white cannibalism in the slave trade white cannibalism in the in the slave trade the curious case of the Shuna iron gate so did this here is a study right it isn't a, a myth it's a study that was done at the university of leeds in 2016 right and it's, it's actually a study that was done so a person might try and say, uh, um, no, uh, no, nah, this is, um, uh, this, this is fiction. No, this is not fiction. So for all you YouTuber, you fact checkers, fuck you. Yeah, because God, this is fact. Yeah, this is actually recorded fact. So you can get all the emotion you want, clip the video or, or, or do this, do that. It's fact. Yeah. I'm going to read a bit of it and, and, and get some uh, 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 context. Manuel Barcia, uh, the, the Portuguese ship, the Iron Gate, was captured in late November 19, uh, 1837 by the H HMS Snake. Ah, <laughs> the HMS Snake, you devils. On the Cape of San Antonio in Cuba, at the time of her capture, the Iron Gate had more than 330 Africans, which which are Israelites, on board, who had all embarked at Galliens. All of them were liberated soon after the, the the vessel reached Montego Bay, Jamaica, where soon after their arrival, a, a chilling mystery surrounding the alleged practices carried out by her captain and crew were also brought to the attention of local authorities shortly after landing the captain and the crew were accused of killing an african man cooking his flesh and serving it to the rest of the slaves on board additionally 
they were also accused of eating the heart and liver of the murdered man right so 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 let's let's just understand this it's recorded in history right that on a particular slave ship certain slaves were freed it was freed and you know after those captured and when they came off off the boat right they said look these edomites on the ships cooked a slave chopped him up and served him to us with a side of rice and they ate his heart and and, and 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 live out before us all so you can get all emotional all you want but and 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 then people say oh, oh it's the past there is a recorded account in history of some slaves being physically eaten by the so-called white slave masters man you can get all the emotional you want, but this is the truth. So anytime, anytime someone says, oh, are you mad? Or, or this and that. Just show them this. All right. So let me, let me, now, now you know, I, I, I'm going to play the, the, the actual clip and, 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 and the seminar, which they actually had. You know, people think, you know, we were lying. I'll play you the, the seminar, bro. This is actually a recorded fact. Well, you're wrong. Um, it's uh, a great pleasure to welcome uh, Manuel Barcia this evening. My name is Gad Human. I'm one of the organizers, along with Steve Cushion and uh, Kate Quinn, who is unfortunately unable to join us. Uh, but we're very glad that Manuel has been able to join us. Uh, as some of you know, he is... Uh, ...to uh, present today. I'm just going to try to give you a, the story and... and um, some of, of the methodological issues that, that uh, um, are related to the way I approach it as well, but if I, I'm, I'm happy to, to talk at the end about uh, more theoretical and methodological issues as well, because I think that is, is uh, important. I, I, I could introduce you to a history of cannibalism, and, and especially in the Atlantic and all that, but I, I suppose you can read that. It's going to be easier for you. Um, so, I think five minutes later. At dawn break on the 23rd of November, 1837, the HMA snake, under the command of Captain Alexander Milne, spotted a suspicious brig in the horizon, just of Cuba's westernmost point, the Cape of San Antonio. On the brig, as the body of one of the white passengers who had died of an African fever was buried at sea, the sailors saw a large cruiser ship in the distance a circumstance that led the captain to give orders to find an escape route as quickly as possible. The getaway attempt was short-lived as the fast-sailing British cruiser soon caught up with the slave traders. Upon boarding the ship, Captain Milne reported that the brig, naming the papers and the log as the Arrogante, was crammed with African slaves kept in terrible conditions. In a private letter to his brother, written a couple of months later, Milner referred to the Africans on board as actual skeletons with death in their countenances. Milne, a seasoned sailor who had encountered several slave vessels before, confessed to his shock as never before by the sight of dead children lying on the deck, while others were in the last stage, all calling for food and water and pointing to their mouths. Without wasting any time, Captain Milne said Lieutenant Robert Boyle Miller to take control of a ship as prize master and to guide it immediately to Montego Bay in order to disembark the Africans before continuing course towards Sierra Leone where the vessel and the crew were to be brought before the Anglo-Portuguese Court of Mixed Commissions. They could not be um, just in, in Jamaica. I'm happy to discuss this later. The Arrogante, with a crew of 35 men, mostly Portuguese, Portuguese, probably all Portuguese, had obtained a human cargo 40 days before from the notorious Spanish slave dealer Pedro Blanco in River Gallinas in the Upper Guinea coast. 470 Africans, many of them children and young adults, had been crowded on the small deck of the brig and sent on their way to Cuba, almost certainly consigned to the house of Pedro Martinez and company of Havana and Cadiz. When the ship came across the HMS Snake, 64 of them had died. And by the time the Africans were landed in Montego Bay 11 days later, 74 more had passed away in spite of all the attentions given to them by the assistant surgeon of the snake, 
who had accompanied Lieutenant Miller to the ship. After, after landing 66, most of, more of them died uh, within a, a week or two. Upon their arrival in Jamaica, John Rowey, the collector of customs at Montego Bay, who was the first to receive them, was just as perplexed as Captain Milne had been before him. In a letter sent to Commodore Peter John Douglas months later, Rowey recounted the horrible state of disease and emaciation prevailing among them, explaining that the tides of many were not thicker than his own wrist. More alarming, however, was a revelation that many of the slaves made soon afterwards. In various occasions, upon their arrival, and over the next few months, a considerable number of them, mostly children and young adults, told repeatedly and to different people that one of the Africans on board the Arrogante had been murdered, and that subsequently the sailors had cooked pieces of his body and served them with rice to the rest of the Africans. Although Robbie, Lieutenant Miller, and others who would come into contact with them remained skeptical throughout, others, including the collector of Coson and Lucia, at Lucia, a coastal town west of Montego Bay, Lyndon Howard Evelyn, the senior magistrate at Hanover, Alexander Campbell, and the special justice of peace in the same place, Hall Pringle, were convinced <coughs> that the young Africans were telling the truth and denouncing an event that had indeed taken place. Yeah, exactly. So, so of course, you know, because he's a devil, he, he, he'll be skeptical. But, you know, after they, they examined it, they said, look, man, there's, there's 60, 70 kids all saying the same thing, right? So, that, so, that, so that's in your history, man. That's just actually in your history of of cannibalism in the slave trade, bro. You know, and that's what you did. It's just the truth, and uh, and if you wanna get upset, cool. It is what it is, but it's just it's just the track. It's just the facts, man. All right now, you know why? This is a uh, apple cook. Apple cook uh, two and um uh, and four. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is up is not upright with him, but the just shall live by his faith. You know, and, and obviously we, 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 are the Israelites in the kingdom ain't, ain't, ain't going to be eating no Edomite. But that just shows you how Esau is vile, man. He has no, he's just not upright in his soul, man. And he's, and he's being exposed for his hatreds and, and the things that he's, he's done unto us, man. And things that he, he, he eventually has to pay for, man. This is um, Obadiah chapter 1 and 10. For thy violence against, that's against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man. And, and that shame and that disgrace... That's covering thee now is the things which you've done. Uh -huh. The scripture speaks about shame shall be upon thy what? Thy, 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 uh, thy, thy glory, man. Shame upon thy glory. You know? I mean, shame will be on you for, for the things that you actually have done, man, to people upon the earth. Starting off with the with the Israelites, man. Right? And that's why it says, For thy violence against thy, thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. You know? Because because you have for the affliction of us, man. Right? This is um Obadiah chapter one and eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for a, 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 a stubble, and they shall kindle them and, and, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. That's why when we're, we're finally like establishing the kingdom of heaven, you read them like, go and get just, 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 just taken out completely, man, for everything you've um, done, man. Right, this is um This is Ezekiel 
Ezekiel 25. This is uh, Salakia. Ezekiel 25, man. It says, Where am I, man? Ezekiel 25 and 12, man. It says, That saith the Lord Power, because Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking a vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith the Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom and 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 uh, and who is Edom, man? You are uh, so-called people who who, uh, who call yourselves white, man. The scripture says, "Who stretch out his hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from 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 Teman, and they of the down shall fall by the uh, sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel." And they shall do in Edom according to to uh, my anger, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance save to Lord power. So everything that you 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 you've done unto us, the Heavenly Father will go and give us you. Uh, the Heavenly Father will go and give us you, and also give us that power to bring destruction upon you, and judgment, and captivity upon you in. A kingdom of 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 heaven, and the scripture says, "Happy shall he be that take him and, and dash him from thy thy little ones against the stones, man." Right, so you know, Esau man, just keep doing your thing, but just wait. When we catch you in the kingdom, Esau man, we ain't gonna have any like any mercy on you, man. We 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 gonna bring different ways of judgment upon you that you've never imagined. And it's only right because of the amount of wickedness that you've you've done to us that you, 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 you haven't even paid for yet, right? This is um Revelation chapter thirteen. And nine, it says If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. He is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. So everything you've done to us, you're going to receive judgment. And it's only like a matter of time, man. Right? But anyway, as you, as you can see, white cannibalism in the slave trade, man. And this is just an, uh, like another reason. To be angry about the the, uh, the 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 atrocities that was done to our people through these Edomites, through the spirit of 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 of, of, of the Lord. Of course, we ain't we ain't angry at, at the Lord, but guess what? It's you know it it's happened on the earth, and guess what? The the people you know who physically had done this up upon the earth is what these Edomites. Which means that their time period of judgment is going to soon come upon them. Right? So with that, we say all praises be to the Albashi Shai, double honest apostles and elders, great most time. Till next time, I'm going to say, Shalom.